I can tell you who doesn't like rain. Hi. Oh, Bibi. I love rain in New York under one condition. If it's warm, it's quite nice. It is quite warm, so it's really a little bit like not summer rain, that would be exaggerated, but a little nice spring rain. And what I really like is that the city is just so empty. People don't come out when it rains. We're at Washington Square Park and we're pretty much the only people here. Look at these trees. Come on. Like good old IG times. Where are we going? We're getting coffee. Baru, you don't like the rain. You're a good weather dog. <laughs> she also doesn't like the umbrella. <laughs> Okay, Rue, I tried. Look, she doesn't want to continue walk. Babes, you gotta use the toilet. Come on, toilet. Fun fact, do you know the name of these flowers? No, oh, what is it? You don't know it? I am actually quoting my followers. So these are man manolias. Ah, magnolias. Is it magnolias or manolias? Do you pronounce the G? They're some of the oldest flowers to exist on planet Earth. I didn't. They were around when the dinosaurs were around. No way. They've seen it all. And they've been here before even bees existed. So they're like the way they mate <laughs> is through bugs. Is that crazy? I actually have no idea if this is true or not. It's just something that a follower DM'd me and I thought it's really fascinating. Come Rosie. Watch So right now my mom is in town. She got here yesterday, no, the day before. And it was just her 71st birthday. I'm not allowed to say this, so it's our little secret. And every year for her birthday, I treat her on a trip. So this time she really wanted to go to Miami. And I was like, you got it. So tomorrow we're going to Miami, which I'm really excited about. One of my goals in life is to give my parents anything they want. like anything like i want to buy them homes you know what i'm saying so i want to work very hard and just buy my family and my friends <laughs> anything they want i love spoiling other people it's the best like i love spoiling my mom and i feel like she's like the child because she gets so happy about anything even like going out for dinner she's so happy and like overall her energy is so wild like it's just so happy i'm like wow mom you know there's this thing that when you grow older and you experience some stuff 
You kinda lose that like youthful joy, but not her, okay? Not her. She is like a little joyful child, which makes me very happy because I don't wanna lose my inner joyful child. And when I see my mom, I'm like, wow, she's got it. If you don't want to, you don't have to ever lose it. My God, she's so excited about anything. I was like, mom, your energy is so great. And she's like, my energy is always great. I'm like, mm -mm, not always but almost. I think it's really funny how the older we get, the more we become like our parents, which is a very, very weird thing. Like my mom and I, we have so many things in common. For example, we both forget bad things. Like we just forget it. For example, if somebody wronged me, I forget that they wronged me. So I have to literally like write down what happened. And also my best friends, they're like there to remind me. It's also funny with our memory. Oh my God, I wanted to tell this to you guys. Remember how in the last video I was like, mm, you know, 2021 was my year. I was thriving, blah, blah, blah. And then I read old journey entries and that wasn't the case. I was pretty much writing about not the same same, but like a lot of similar thoughts and experiences. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. And this is why journaling is so valuable because our brains fool us, okay? Like our brains are trick masters. Like, you know, my narrative is 2021 was a good year, 2022 a bit less, and 2023 was a really difficult year. Yes, it was difficult, but I think we need to stop judging years by whether they were good or bad, because I think every year has good and bad. And sure, some years are more difficult than others, but it doesn't mean that the whole year is shit. You know what I mean? I think it's more moments. Like it's a continuous dance between light and difficult, happy and sad. And it's all part of the same metal. It's all connected, okay? One cannot exist without the other. Like you cannot say you had a good year and saying that you were so happy that year. Like sure, you can have a good year, but it doesn't mean that it was only good or that if you had a difficult year, that it was only bad, you know? We need to like judge less, maybe? I don't know. Okay, look at this. I'm gonna have onions with tomatoes. Yum. Okay, I think the point that I'm trying to make is that objectively we can label years or periods as good or bad, but subjectively, it's always a mixed experience. You know, just because you had a year where you were very successful, it doesn't mean that that was your subjective experience. And I speak from experience because a lot of the times when I was very successful or reached a new career high, I was miserable, you know? So perception is a funny thing. Yum, mum, 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 mum. Mm. So good. So now watch the magic. It's a new creation. You know what's also funny about parents? So whenever I arrive in Hamburg, where my mom lives, she always makes me food. Like it's always soup, So I love soup. And she always brings me soup and fruits and like bread and a salad, like always. So I was like, let's return the favor. And when she arrived, we didn't go for dinner and we made soup here. And then I was like, right, let me give her the soup. So I went over and I'm like, oh, this is so cute of us. You know, we're giving her a little soup. But the funny thing about her is she's the one who's always like, have you eaten my soup yet? Have you eaten my soup yet? What about my soup? Have you eaten it? And I'm like, yeah, 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 I will eat it. I will eat it because I don't always eat it immediately. Sometimes we arrive really late or we already have dinner plans and then I eat it the next day. But she's always like inquiring about the soup. And now she doesn't eat her soup. Which, uh, why? We put so much effort into that soup. Jürgen, don't you think it's funny how our parents are like... Yeah, and funny. also each time she does it for you, I'm like, yeah, okay, but like sometimes yeah, you cannot eat the fruits <laughs> immediately. 
but then if you do it yourself, you get disappointed. Yeah, now, now we're on the other side and now we understand. Look guys, I made myself a porridge. Mmm, mm -hmm. so good. Why don't you say that this porridge looks really nice? <laughs> you are not a fan of porridge, right? It's okay. I like porridge. But I yes. like savory food and I think I want to start a petition because in my humble opinion, there's not enough savory food options <laughs> because wherever you go, it's always sweet. And I don't love pastries. I'm sorry, unpopular opinion, but I don't want to eat a croissant or I don't want to eat a muffin. I just want to have a good like cheesy something, cheesy toast. I mean, I love it good croissant or like a pan au chocolat, but I'm more, I like fruits and oatmeal. <laughs> that makes sense. There was a time when I liked Greek yogurt too, but like now it's more refined. <laughs> I want onions. I want onions, I want garlic, I want olive oil, I want salt, 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 pepper. That's what I want. Anyway, I'm going to the hairdresser. I cut my hair and you know what? I love it, but I always forget how annoying styling is with short hair. Always forget. Anyway, see you in Brooklyn. We did Soho, we did Brooklyn, and now we're on the Upper East Side. East, yes. And to be honest, I already called it a day. You know, I feel like I'm pretty good with like rain, like the first half of the day. And then when there's like no stopping, I can't keep up anymore. Also, these Celine rain boots, they're not really rain boots because my feet are wet. What the hell, Celine? Do better than this. I'm really, really disappointed because my feet are wet and that puts me in a weird mood. I feel like a little fish. But um, I just wanted to show you guys how beautiful it is here. I mean, that's so beautiful. I love how the flowers are blooming. The trees are springing, some of them. And now we're going to yet another museum. I'm gonna show you my hair. Well, to be honest, the weather is so crazy. I need to fix my hair first before I show it to you guys because I want you to like it. <laughs> Just kidding. I really like it, but again, like my hair looks crazy. Does it look crazy or does it look good? I think it looks good. Yeah? No, it does look crazy. She's fresh, but yeah. Uh, this weather, man. It's funny because this morning when I was in a good mood, I said to Rue, Rue, it's not that awful. Like, get a grip. And now I'm Rue, okay? I am Rue. I'm like, ah!
wanted to say the way I see it, there's worse things in life than rain.